March the 15th and before I say any more I must apologize for my absence those of you that were concerned I'm okay I'm working away moving my cattle continuing on with what we have been doing all winter long but I just haven't had a chance and I was kind of busy mentally as well as uh, physically so uh, I kind of took a little bit of a break from the videos but I will always try and uh, post and give updates and I'll try and get back onto uh, my regular posting very soon but haven't got that out of the way the situation at the minute is we're St. Patrick's weekend bank holiday and the rain has been sort of the thing that has got me down it was I have to say the toughest winter um, so far with winter and cattle out that I have experienced the rain has just been relentless it hasn't stopped raining since July we had a little bit of a break in September but the rain has just come and even yesterday we had an unmerciful downpour so this is the highest field on this farm here let me just turn around and the last video I posted the last video I posted I was in that field just behind that ditch and I worked my way all the way down down to the road crossed over and worked all my way back up now the first rotation was I got 90 days out of the first rotation and I haven't actually calculated how long it has taken me to get to the second rotation but I had to give them bigger areas and move them quicker uh, since my last video because I suppose I had less ground cover which meant I was doing a bit more poaching and uh, it was just tough tough weather to be walking outdoors and for the cattle but we survived it we got through it and I'm not going to complain too much it's not changed my mind on the viability of this system it was just one of those difficult winters and um, I have I find any but um, we're on top as I say on the highest field of this farm and if I just walk this is the driest place as well you can even see even in the dry fields they're doing a little bit of damage a little bit of poaching but if I just walk along I've literally just opened the fence and moved them from there now I'm because this is the higher field I've been trying my best to slow them down as much as I can without uh, doing too much poaching but um, it's tough and it's wet and they have done a bit of a uh, puddling but I'm not overly concerned that to me is acceptable enough that will all settle down now with gravity and rest and rain and growth um, it'll all start to you can actually see the bit of picking that is coming so this was four days ago here and I mean I held them up as much as I could so they had a cut tight and they had a et tight and they, as I say they only came out of here 20 minutes ago now there's lovely green picking here it did have nice picking on it but with the rain we had over the last few days and more due tomorrow I have to keep them moving so I'm almost at the end of my second rotation already so I must look at the calendar and work out exactly how long it took me to come through I had a feeling I would be getting through the second rotation an awful lot quicker there was no way I was going to get 90 days out of the second one so uh, they're getting that sweet picking and I'm giving them lovely dry where is it here I have lovely dry bales to balance them out <coughs> hang on that's my walkie-talkie. My girls have walkie-talkies. They're at the house there. And I use these to talk to them. So they can talk to me full-time when I'm out doing my jobs. So yeah, that's a story for another day. So this is the lovely dry stuff I'm giving. It's almost haylage. I'm very happy with that stuff now, yeah. Um, so they're getting as much as that as they want. And a little bit of sweet spring picking. So... They have, haven't as done, or they did lose a bit of condition this last while, but they're starting to 
because of that tough winter they did lose that little bit of condition a little bit more than I would have hoped but um, they have definitely uh, are definitely starting to bounce back now which is natural enough Maverick I think is a Maverick's definitely not in calf anyhow not, she's not intended on calving anytime soon anyhow the rest of them are in calf even the black lady above I don't know what's the story with her she was running with a bull all year that's her there I have no idea I thought she was going to calf around the Christmas time because she looked like a heifer that was in calf earlier or late in last year but that's Maverick Ella so the cow of concern is this one. Not, not that I'm concerned about her, but she is the one that has had the toughest winter of all. Um, and the rest of them, there's none of them that stand out other than whore. And even this, uh, that's the lady that should care for it. Even the lady that I was concerned about earlier in the year has bounced back. She is actually improved. She's only a three year old, so she was obviously putting up teeth there for a while and uh, she was suffering. But she is definitely after improving. So the only lady that's below standard is uh, the red short term behind me. So, yeah, they have that sweet picket and they're eating that haylage. You can see they're actually more anxious for the, the picking now some of them are than the, than the hay so that is the carry on today is a day a dry day in between the rain more rain promised again tomorrow but I believe it's going to settle down there's talk of it settling down next Wednesday it surely has to at some stage but uh, yeah and then we'll start calving in earnest in April so the bowl last year arrived on the 20th of June. Um, this lady, I never saw her bowling, uh, but she's definitely in calf, and she, I think, is going to be the first one to calf. I never saw the tinnish red lady bowling either, but I have a feeling that she is. Uh, I have a feeling that she is going to calf alongside that other red lady soon enough. She's putting up a bit of a bag and she's starting to soften a wee bit here. She is, yeah, so she could be a month out. I think the first one is still a month out. And then this one. To be honest with you, when the bull was here, the red Galloway last year, it was very hard to spot the cows bulling. They seemed to be bulling full time every day. They were mad about that bull. But he was just a wee bit under pressure. So I don't know what they're carrying to, either him, it all depends. What we'll do is, as they're calving, we'll know that the first ones to calf are all going to be Galloways and we can only know when the short horns come, when the short horns come. So this lady, I believe, is carrying to a short horn. She's a first calf heifer, the Tinnish lady's daughter. So I have a few calves at home. Wainlands. I'll make another video during the week about that. I have news there too, so uh, I won't mention a word about it now. But I'll show, I'll show you them shortly in the next video. This lady is definitely carrying to Ruby, the Red Galloway. I know what day she's. Uh, I know what day she's due as well. I think she is due. I must check my calendar. It's the first week of April as well, in around that time. So that would bring her to the middle of April because they'll all carry about nine and a half months. So nine months to the day they're bull plus two weeks, I allow. This bull has to go. He'll be gone soon enough. I have to get the hair test done now as well. I'm getting letters off the department giving me notification about doing them things but we've lots of time to do that the Galloway is here I have no idea, although I know for a fact that this lady here is carrying to a short turn she broke, but I don't know about Belty Bjog Belty Bjog could be carrying 
to ruby, which would be brilliant, which would mean we have a purebred common. Hopefully. I'm very fond of that little lady there. She's as tough as nails and she held her condition very well. Very easy minded. You can see there that she's as round. And her mother's as round. Them Galloways are tough, tough ladies. So she's the smallest I'd ever keep now. She's slightly on the smaller side. But big sheep I want. Especially when you're getting rain like we've been getting all this year. And when the land in your driest field, that's happened to it. They were standing at the back of that hedge there getting a bit of shelter from the rain yesterday, I suppose. But I'll give that plenty of time now. I won't be back in this area until until we have lots and lots of grass. It'll probably have gone to seed. I won't be able to get to it. But we'll see. We'll speed them up. Bit of fence walking there, so. Yeah, that is the carry on. Again, I apologise that I haven't been posting as regular. I will be trying to pick things up now shortly. Uh, especially now that calving season is very close. And I suppose with all the rain that we've been having, my phone was messing. I even recorded a few videos, but there was an awful lot of uh, mistakes and the phone was acting up and I didn't post them and every kind of problem was happening. And my head was away also. So now that the sun is shining, the vitamin D is starting to kick in, I'll be back at it. The cows will be calving and it's all good. So that's my little update, my little apology and my starter again. And there's a bee, look at that. That's a real good sign. Now on that note, I'll say good luck and goodbye.